Welcome to Search for Signs. My name is Gary Willing. If this information interests you, please press the like and subscribe button and press the bell for notifications. In the last few videos, I've been talking about some individual masters, um, in, you know, in, you know, in separate videos about them. And, you know, I touch on it and I'm not really talking, you know, I'm not really going into too much depth about what they do and who they were and all that kind of stuff. You know, there's a lot more you could talk about, but in a five, 10 minute video, it's, it's pretty hard to cram all that information in there. I'd have to talk pretty fast. <laughs> now these masters, and it's not possible to talk about all the masters because there's a lot of masters that there's nothing known about them. There's also some of these masters are incredibly old, so there's no way to talk about their incarnations, you know, their previous incarnations, because, you know, they were average Joes long before recorded history. So, you know, they, and they just happen to be here for the length of time that they've been, you know. <clears throat> now, other masters, you know, some masters, you know, they, they kind of, the masters can kind of incarnate in a few different ways. And one of them, I think the majority of them are born in the normal way, you know, maybe not the majority of them, but there's a, there's a number of them that are born in the normal way. Like let's use Jesus, for example, right? The master Jesus incarnated uh, 600 and something years ago in Syria and had parents just like, you know, you and I would or whatever. But, and up until the age of four would, he didn't know he was a master, you know, and then at the age of, age of four, he started to obviously remember that who he was and boom, and that was it, you know, and then he, be, you know, he remember being a master and, you know, he grew up and then he hasn't aged a day in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years and can live in that body for as long as he wants. Now, other masters, uh, such as Maitreya, they actually can mentally create a body and I mean, not that Jesus couldn't have done it that way. He just chose to do it the way that he did it. But other masters have the same body, like the master DK have the same body that they had when they were just a disciple becoming a master. Other masters take the body that they had in a previous incarnation that kind of looks like how they, I guess, looked in as a, you know, when they were just a person or a disciple or something. And then... Other masters, like the ma the master I'm going to talk a couple of masters I'm going to talk about today, but the master I'm going to talk about right now, uh, Sai Baba, uh, were in, you know incarnated the way that a normal person would. They were born, they live for a few years, and then they pass away. And this particular master, Sai Baba, um, had I don't know if he had millions of devotees. Probably did. You know, millions of devotees all over the world, and people used to pilgrimage to. Uh, India all the time to see him. I had a couple, maybe three or four different friends that used to go to his um, ashram every once in a while and, and see him and stuff like this and always would come back and tell me these wonderful stories about, about this. And I I knew a little bit about Sai Baba. You know, I didn't really follow. I mean, I always believed him to be a master. And according to Benjamin Krem, he's actually on the same level or a little higher in, in terms of evolutionary scale than, than even Maitreya. So he was a very, very advanced master. And I think, you know, I don't know, you'd have to ask Sai Baba, but if I had to guess, you know, the reason why he was born in the way that he did and passed away not too long ago, but the passed away in the, you know, I think he was like 80 something is because he was out, in the public eye, you know, and it would kind of freak people out, you know, if he was, <laughs> if he just kept living, you know, because people don't have a reference to it yet. Now, once people know Maitreya and trust Maitreya and trust these masters, then um, it, it, it will become more normal, right? But in, but right now, given the relationship that, or the non-relationship that we have with these masters, you know, I'm sure that's the reason why Sai Baba did what he did, because he probably didn't see it. It was his job to um, 
to be the first master that people, you know, realize can live, <laughs> can keep living for a long, lot longer than most of us, right? So he, he had, you know, Sai Baba had a previous incarnation as Sai Baba and then passed away in the normal way and then lived his life in the second incarnation. I think he was born in the 20s and then lived all the way up to just a few years ago and then passed away. And then according to Sai Baba himself, he will come back again. And I think that's going to be his last incarnation on his planet. And according to Benjamin Krem, he's kind of like a spiritual regent, you know, like a regent for a king. When a king goes off on, on some kind of duty or something like that, they um, need somebody to kind of stand in for them. And there is a, we haven't really talked about it, but there's a, a the master of all the masters of all the masters um, who's, kind of like the stand he's kind of like the stand in for him right now you know and that's why he did what he did now does Sai Baba desire devotees no of course not it's just I think the devotee master relationship is kind of one of those things that happen earlier on in the person's life not in the master's life but in the person's life where they feel the need to be devoted to uh, what they believe is a higher spiritual being and so they become devoted to it. And these masters don't desire devotees. You know, they know, they understand, I'm sure, why they're, why people look to them like that. But even Sai Baba never claimed to be what people claimed him to be. You know, the son of God and this, that, and the other. You know, people thought he was God himself, you know. And, but he never claimed it. And a lot of times I think he even denied no, no, I'm not that, you know, you're just as much of a spiritual being as I am. You know, that's what he would always say in his messages. And, you know, an interesting story about, say, Baba, I don't know if this were never confirmed by Benjamin Krem to be miracles of any kind, but I think they're interesting, at least, you know, interesting stories, interesting fodder for, you know, about the masters. But I like to drink wine. And this one time I was watching this video about Sai Baba and... I was drinking some wine as I was listening to it. And all of a sudden, I'm not kidding. I heard his voice come through the speakers. And it's, how did he put it? He, I think it said, even though you drink wine, you're still divine. And you're still divine because you're drinking wine or something like that. And I remember I kind of sat back in my chair. I was like, did I just hear that right? I wasn't drunk. I promise I wasn't drunk. So if I was drunk and I missed, you know, I just kind of made it up, I do apologize. But it was just something that I wasn't even thinking about. And all of a sudden, it just kind of came through the speakers. And I remember I, I replayed the video, and there was nothing there. But it was his voice coming through the speakers. And I uh, did a painting about a, uh, about a wine sommelier. And I put some wine quotes in there. You know, one was this quote itself. You know, it said, you know, even though you drink wine, you're, or you're, you're divine because you drink wine or something like that or drinking wine is divine or something. I can't remember how I put it, but I put it in there because I heard this quote through the speakers. And then I, I put another one that I thought was kind of funny. It was W.C. Fields, you know, he, uh, old time actor. He used to drink a lot. I think he might've even died of alcoholism if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, he said something about, he goes, um, I, I always cook with wine and sometimes I even put it in food. <laughs> And then I put what well, Benjamin Krem, or Benjamin Krem, Benjamin Franklin quote in there some kind of way or something like that. But anyway, I digress. But the other thing too is, you know, I had asked a friend of mine who was going to see Sai Baba if she could pick up a, a photo of Sai Baba for me. And there was a certain photo that I wanted of him. And she agreed to, if she could find it. And they have a, I guess they have a little gift shop in his ashram and she was looking for it and she even asked Sai Baba because she couldn't find it. She was like, is there any way that you could get this photo for Gary? And she's looking through this bin of photos and nothing, she couldn't find the photo. She knew the photo that I wanted because that actually it was a photo that she had on her mantle. And he kind of, it's like a picture of him smiling and stuff. Anyway, uh, she's flipping through the thing, can't find it. And then she asks him for help. And then she turns around and looks and it's sitting right on top of all the photos. So I don't know if that, if he materialized or not, he was always known to, to do these kind of materialization miracles, you know, and, and miracle healings and things like this. But if you don't, if you're not familiar with who he is, 
I definitely recommend looking up some of his videos and hearing his talks because they're very enlightening, you know, obviously, because he's, he was a master, you know, he kept it simple, you know, he didn't go into too much depth because of who he was speaking to. But like I said, according to Benjamin Graham, I mean, he's, he was at the level or a little higher than even uh, Maitreya, you know, and real quick, I'll, I'll kind of end it like this. The, the term Christ that the Christians use, they use it as, you know, of course, the only true son of God in reference to Jesus. But the esoteric meaning of Christ actually means so much more than that. But it's actually one of the paths that the masters themselves take. So not all masters are Christ's. Now, the Christ principle lives within their heart, you know, because the Christ principle is the love of God. But like when you look at Maitreya, for instance, Maitreya is a Christ as because he chose that path to take. And it's a, he can embody the love aspect of God, not merely channel it. All the masters can channel it through their heart chakra and stuff, but he can it literally, his body is literally made up of the love aspect of God. And, but on a planetary level, Sai Baba is on the is on a cosmic level so he was a cosmic christ you know but his body may is made up of the love aspect of god as well you know and then the other planetary christ that we've we've had is the buddha not gautama buddha but the buddha that worked through gautama buddha is a christ in the same way and became a christ earlier i think than maitreya so we were lucky enough as a planet to have two Christs. Now, a lot of pl planets don't have never even produced a Christ. Our planet actually has produced two. <laughs> you know, now some of the higher planets probably have some Christs in there some kind of way. You know, but and we'll talk about the the planets. But not all planets are created equal. You know, and a lot of planets are more advanced than our own. And even like, for instance, the planet Mars, that's slightly more advanced than ours, has never developed a Christ the way that this planet has. So we're, we're doubly special. But Sai Baba was here for a time. He's still here, but he's not incarnated at this time. You know, and he is a cosmic Christ. The other cosmic Christ that I know of is Babaji, which was written in the Yogananda books. And this particular master has been in the Himalayas for centuries and actually millennia, you know, I mean, a long, long time, you know, and will be here for millennia from now. So you'll probably be a master long before he leaves this planet. <laughs> but, you know, some of these masters, you know, are going to be like that when these other masters come out before the public eye, you know, there's going to be a lot of masters that we all know either nothing of or very, very little of because they'll just work, continue to work behind the scenes because that's what they, that's their job and stuff. But, and as always, take action. Help SOP save our planet. Thanks for listening and we look forward to talking to you again in future videos. Have a great day.